Hi everyone and welcome to 3D Experience Forum here at Caesars Palace. Today we're talking with co-founder Josh Kroll of Boom Supersonic. For those of the audience who weren't around when the Concorde was or right. you know need some refresher on that, why now move into uh, supersonic flight? So the, the Concorde was designed a little more than 50 years ago um, and it was a tremendous technological achievement, um, a marvel of its time, similar to the Apollo program in many ways. Uh, you know, capable of taking 100 passengers across the Atlantic in three and a half hours. Uh, but unfortunately, it was designed at a time when you couldn't create a supersonic aircraft that was economically efficient, um, which ended up being sort of the story of the, the downfall of Concorde in many ways. They only made 14. Most of the time, uh, on average, the one out of four seats was filled on the airplane, and it was only viable on a couple of routes. And uh, and so this, this wasn't a sustainable product that that airlines could rely on and, and become part of the future of travel uh, in a way that you know many had hoped. Sure. Um, Fifty years later, we have modern aerodynamics simulation. We have carbon fiber composites that are mainstream and certified. We have turbofan engines, and the combination of these these new technologies, all of which are existing and flying today, makes it possible to take another look at this this uh, this space and and design a modern supersonic aircraft that. Uh, that we intend to bring to market. And how are you utilizing the 3D experience platform to go from prototype to production mm -hmm. and streamline that to hit the aggressive targets you talked about this morning in your keynote? Right, so we started as, you know, as, as, a, as a small young company early on, we started in SolidWorks. Uh, we're working on a demonstrator aircraft right now that's a, a two-seater, um, about 70 foot long uh, aircraft is similar, similar design characteristics. It flies Mach 2.2, uh, carbon fiber design. Um, but we, we needed to start simple and, and, and lightweight, and so we chose SolidWorks at the time. And we're pushing SolidWorks about as far as anyone has with an airplane of thousands and thousands of parts and 100 plus engineers all designing together in it. But the, the next step for the company is to look forward to the Overture program. And as we lean into that program, which will be a certified aircraft development program, we're going to need much more complexity around both design, coordination, supply chain, um, the, the sophistication of tools, needs to grow with the maturity of the company and the, and, the, and the complexity of the program that we're leaning into. The 3D experience is perfect for that. It allows us to tackle the conceptual design phase that we're leaning into right now, um, but also provides tools at all the phases that we're going to be entering as we continue through detailed design and into manufacturing. Uh, so in a lot of ways, you know, the, the, the story of the platform is perfect for us because we don't have a lot of legacy infrastructure or processes that we have to transform in order to adopt the sort of modern tools. We can jump right in and, and we're on 3D Experience 2019 already and um, just getting started with it. Earlier in the 3D Experience Forum here, we spoke about sustainability yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and with so much of the economics of mm -hmm. uh, aircraft travel, especially supersonic travel, hinging on mm -hmm. energy efficiency and having a small footprint right. uh, from a uh, carbon standpoint. Mm -hmm. How are you designing in sustainability into your right. jobs? So the, the good news there is that sustainability and operating economics are aligned when it comes to supersonic travel and aircraft travel in general. So uh, we're, we're aiming to build the most efficient modern supersonic uh, airliner that's ever been designed. Um, and that, that applies both for the, the business case of the airline and for the uh, environmental sustainability, sustainability angle. Um, the, you know, the, uh, the couple things we've done along the way, I mean, we, we, we've been working on our prototype, so we're, we're just beginning the phase of looking at, air, at the airliner, but the, uh, the prototype, we've actually taken our engines and gone into a test facility where we've used biofuels to, uh, to do testing with those engines. And um, this is some of the, uh, there hasn't been a lot of biofuel testing of jet engines so far, but we're, we're, help, we're happy to sort of lean into that. Biofuels could be a major part of the environmental sustainability part uh, story for airlines uh, in the future. And um, we actually feel confident from some of this early testing that we'll be able to use alternative fuels for both our XP-1 demonstrator and the Overture program. So, um, so there's a whole story there, but I think that you know, the, the high level is uh, we're aiming to make an efficient, economically sustainable air aircraft. That is part of our mission. And with regard to aircraft manufacturing and specifically supersonic vehicle production, sure. uh, there's some pretty high barriers to entry. There are some pretty entrenched there competitors. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you using 3D Experience Platform to overcome some of those barriers and actually turn the slow 
relatively slow growth path of your com more entrenched competitors into an advantage by being quicker with time to market and quicker with innovation. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, I think I think um, when you look at the scope of the program we're, we're embarking on and the manufacturing challenges and building this, the scale company that we need to build, um, I mean, there's certainly a lot of aspects to that. Tools is, is, is one of them, team is another big one. Mm -hmm. You have to have the right experience on a team, which is why we're pulling people from all around industry. Um, the other part is, is taking a team through design, build, and fly, which is why we're doing our demonstrator program. So by the time we're, you know, we're beginning to embark on this this next program. We have a lot of experience about how to how to motivate a team, how to how to organize them, what the right tools are needed to put in place for the next the next phase. As far as 3D experience, um, I think you know the the uh, the advantage we have over our competitors is, is sort of what I mentioned before, which is that we don't have to spend a decade long infrastructure retooling project to go create. Uh, allow us to be more nimble and sort of adopt these modern tools. Mm -hmm. We can jump right into database mo driven models and um, model based systems engineering um, and uh, you know sort of the digital thread that that uh, a lot of these companies at this forum are really working hard to get towards uh, we don't we can we can sort of start with a clean slate and and that's um, that's a tremendous advantage uh, it's a it's a unique advantage to startups actually sure. which is uh, Pretty compelling. Yeah, being the co-founder of a of a supersonic aircraft sure. producer, you've probably got a really interesting vantage point on the uh, aviation <laughs> industry. What do, do. what do you see coming in the next five to ten years in the industry? Oh, that's a good question. I mean, I, I think um, there's definitely a lot of talk about supersonics as as the, as the next uh, the, in the next big thing. Um, you know, there's there's certainly detractors, but you know, but there's a, a handful of companies out there that are are doing great things, and um, we're excited to be part of that. Um, you know, I think it's it in the subsonic area. It's it's clearly about efficiency and noise, um, and uh, and supersonics have to you know play by those same games. But uh, but we're really looking to sort of change the the, the paradigm of, you know, quite a bit. And um, if you can get to places twice as fast. Uh, it completely changes the way travel is perceived and, and the kinds of trips people make. And uh, that's what we're really all about at Boom. Yeah, I thought you ended your keynote this morning on an excellent point, which is you changed the speed, that great quote that you had at the very end, you changed the speed of how quickly you get somewhere, you completely change relationships, yeah. and you completely change the dynamics of how That's right. uh, different uh, relationships and overall development progresses. Yeah. Innovation increases exponentially. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and people, you know, people forget, I mean, most of us, pretty much all of us haven't been around at the time of the last major speed up in travel. Sure. But uh, you know, with, there's a ton of evidence around the, the dawn of the jet age that a doubling in travel speeds just has this dramatic impact on the world. And, uh, and, and I think that's um, the, the second order effects of that are um, hard to overstate. They're, yes. they're actually the most important ones. What's next on the, uh, on the agenda? Where you're, what are your goals for the year? Well, so we're, like I said, we're working on our demonstrator. It's yeah. uh, in manufacturing phase right now. We have major sub-assemblies kind of being built at a, several different facilities around the country. And those sub-assemblies will begin to arrive at our hangar in the coming months, two or three months. Um, we're going to be doing final assembly, systems integration, ground testing of that aircraft sort of through the re remainder of the year with the intention to roll it out around the end of the year. Um, and we'll do first flight and, and a supersonic flight in 2020. So the, this next year is going to be very exciting for us. There are, there are airplane companies that have flown a plane and those who haven't, and, and we're, um, we're on the cusp of, uh, of tipping over that, that important threshold. So it's, it's an exciting time. Uh, thank you, Josh. Uh, great sure. hearing about what you're doing to uh, push the envelope of supersonic flight. I can hardly wait thank you very to much. Uh, yeah. see and fly in one of your jets hopefully soon. Excellent. And thank you. And please go to our website for additional information on 3D Experience Platform and all of our different products and services. Make it a great day.